Hey guys, it's Bennett. I'm back with another new release. This time it is 2023 Select Baseball. Uh, this is not FOTL. FOTL came out last week. This is uh, Hobby. Hobby boxes are uh, significantly cheaper than FOTL, even though FOTL is really, really reasonably priced. Uh, this box comes in retail around $145, which you know, I know uh, they don't have the license, so um, you don't have the logos, and this is only prospects and retired players, and all of those other things you can say about Panini baseball products and select in general, but for this price, the bang for the buck, winning two autographs, two mems, they have uh, a ton of different parallels in here to look for, all your zebras, um, color wheels, there's a lot of different things. Ellie De La Cruz is in this set, Jackson Holiday is in this set, somehow Bobby Witt is in this set. Um, there are autographs from guys like Ken, uh, Ken Griffey and some of the other greats of the game. So, you know, the potential to pull a really big card out of, uh, out of a product that, that's, you know, for the price. Just really, really affordable. Um, I, I like select baseball. I do every year. And uh, even with some of the more restrictions that have been put on Panini, this is still a rip for me every single year. I always buy a few boxes of this. This is the, my first box of this year. <clears throat> and uh, we're going to rip it. We're going to get into it, and we'll see how we do. I uh, hope everyone is doing well. Um, I'm doing pretty good. The, you know, the downturn in the hobby as far as prices, I'm sure you guys see it, has continued. But there's still, uh, you know, that just means there's an opportunity. There's deals to be had that weren't, that we couldn't get, you know, a little while ago. So I look at it as a positive. Um, I'm still selling. If you haven't checked my eBay store out yet, it's uh, BDP Sports Cards on eBay. Uh, if you drop me a comment in any one of these videos and you let me know what you're looking for, if you see something on eBay that you really like that I that I have up for sale, by all means, feel free to have a conversation with me on this platform. And then, uh, you know, if you haven't, subscribe to the channel. If you like the content, please hit the like button. Drop me a comment. Let me know how you're doing. And, you know, let's get into some 2023 Select Baseball. Uh, like I said, there'll be four hits in here. They're going to be retired players, like they'll be uh, the old school Hall of Famers will be in black and white, which I kind of like. That's what the design looks like. There are three different levels to these cards. Um, there's concourse, there's diamond, which I think is the highest, and I don't remember what the other one is, but we'll get into it. There's a Jordan Walker, and whoa, let that be an auto. Let that be an auto. No, I think it's a patch. It's a patch, but it's a Jackson Holiday patch. And there's a Sal Freelick. So that's a decent start. There's Jackson Holiday right off the bat. The enclosed authentic memorabilia is not from any specific game or event. All right, so we're not from any specific game. But at least, you know, we got a Jackson Holiday. So that's a good start to the box. That's our first hit. Um, there'll be three more to come. We're going to be looking for uh, our Zebras. We're going to be looking for, you know, uh, the other content that comes out. We'd love to see a color wheel or something like that. But for now, you know, that's a, that's a good start. We'll put Jackson Holiday right over there and we'll keep going. Um, I believe this year they have added uh, black snakeskin 101s a la, a la like um, football and basketball select, which is pretty cool. They have both, you know, uh, bases of them and they have, um, um, well, here's something. What is this? There's a Colson Montgomery tie-dye that's cool that's cool that should be numbered to 25 it is 10 to 25 very cool close montgomery tie-dye there's a who was that dustin harris and fuego and there's al simmons all right so the box is off to a pretty good start anyway but i love the idea of the uh the black snake skins first of all they're beautiful cards you know if you've never seen a, a snake skin they're they're really really cool and, you know, uh, getting an autograph of one of these guys or, you know, even, even one of the legends. Like, can you imagine pulling, like, a Babe Ruth Black Snakeskin 101? I bet you that's a pretty valuable card out of a $140 box. Anyway, there's, uh, there's Joe Morgan. It looks like there's a hit coming up. 
is Nap LaHoy, and this is Andrew Jones. Andrew Jones, number 1099. This is an Andrew Jones auto. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Okay, so this is the diamond level, right? Diamond level looks like that. Um, there's Andrew Jones. This is a, um, uh, what level is this? I think this is just a concourse level, but there's an Andrew Jones auto. How cool is that? It's not bad. It's a great ball player for the Braves. Put that down. Yeah, so the different levels, there's the diamond, uh, there's concourse, and, oh, premier, that's it. So it's it's concourse is the lowest, then premier, and then diamond, which is the highest level. So, you know, levels one, two, and three as far as, I guess, their, uh, their rarity. All right, so that's, uh, that's two of our three hits. So far, it's a Jackson Holiday patch. And an Andrew Jones auto, not bad. Uh, I'm not going to know the names on a lot of these guys, but we'll keep going through. There's Edgar Martinez. That's not numbered. There's a Nolan Ryan numbers. And there's a Lawrence Butler diamond level. Okay. I'll go ahead and sleeve up all the, you know, all the, the prospects and the rookies and all that stuff after the fact. But let's keep going. There's David Ortiz. There's the aforementioned Andrew Jones. There's a, <laughs> looks like a scope of Whitey Herzog. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I'll put, I'll put that I'll put that on the sleeve. Love the Whitey Herzog. That is, oh, it's Jackson Churio. It's unstoppable. I like Jackson Churio. We'll put that down. We'll sleeve these two bad boys up. Yeah, I mean, select, you know, it, it, it's... A lot of people, you know, the unlicensed stuff, they're not a big fan and they're only going to stick with tops and, you know, all the Bowman products and, you know, yeah, granted, those things hold a lot more value and they should hold a lot more value. But if you're talking about bang for the buck, you know, the potential out of a box like this for as cheap as they are, I really, I like select. Every year I like select. All right, let's see what else we got. Frank Viola. There's Jim Edmonds. That is Jim Palmer, the numbers insert, and there's Tamar Johnson for the Pirates. Okay, let's see, what do we have? We have we have two hits so far, right? We got the Jackson Holiday and the Andrew Jones, so we should have two more hits left. Um, there's Kamar Rocker. There's a, another scope. This one's Walter Ford for Seattle. There's the numbers of David Ortiz and Quinn Priester. Quinn Priester, it's an interesting name. Obviously, I've never heard of most of these guys. Most of, This is all going to be, you know, prospects. And again, it's supposed to be all prospects and then um, uh, retired players. But they do have, I think, uh, Yoshida has cards in here. I think he has autos in here as well. I know Jackson Holiday has autos. This one feels thick. So this is another hit in here. Here's Fred Lynn. There's Mike Mussina. All right, there's Bobby Sterling, and let's see what's behind Bobby Sterling. Who's this? PJSGW. Gavin Williams for Cleveland. That's another patch. Okay. And there's Jackson Ferris. Okay. Gavin Williams, a pitcher for the Guardians. Not sure who that is, but we'll do you the courtesy of sleeving you up, and maybe we can get... You know, get a dollar or two for you out of, out of a Gardens fan. That's a little too thick. I'll sleep you up later. All right, let's keep going. We have four packs left, two of which feel thick, so I'll leave those to the end. Uh, we're only due one more hit, so I'm guessing the other one has a sweater in it, but you never know. There's Bob Lemon, George Valera. There's Jacob... Mizorowski. That is Johnny Bench unequaled. And there's Bill Terry. All right. Three more to go. Let's see what else we got here. There's Freddie Lynn. Mike Messina again. There's a Bob Feller tricolor, which is cool. This is Marcelo Mayer draft selections. Pretty cool. And Hal Newhauser. 
You know, waiting for Marcelo Mayer to get to the majors. Let's see what this kid's made of. We got a lot of potentially big cards from Marcelo Mayer. So kind of hoping that kid can, can play shortstop. Okay, let's see what we got here. This, uh, that's, I think that's a sweater, but let's see. Uh, there's Joe Morgan. There's Buster Posey. This is Rookie Revolution. Kyle Manzanardo. I don't know if that's a rare insert. There's a sweater. And Jeff Bagwell. I will sleeve that up. I'm not sure about this. I have to look. I mean, if you look at the back of the box, there's so many inserts. There's so much going on. All right, so this should be our last hit. This should be our last hit. Kind of thick. Let's see what's going on. Okay, there's Hunter Brown. There's Kumar Rocker. There's Vlad Guerrero and Jace Jung for Detroit. There's uh, there's an RPA followed by Dylan Lesko. So there's a Jace Jung RPA. That's the last hit out of the box. But you know what? I mean, not bad. You know, I, I'll get this sleeved up in a second, too. So you have the Jace Jung RPA. Um, there's Marcelo Mary. You have the Gavin Williams. And then, uh, you know, there's the Andrew Jones auto. There's the Colson Montgomery tie-dye to 25. And the Jackson Holiday patch, which is non-numbered, but, you know, it's a silver. I mean, again, 140 some odd dollars. That's not a bad return. You know, and we didn't, you know, we didn't do great. We didn't hit any of the really super short printed stuff. But, you know, I, I'm going to keep ripping select. Let me know in the comments if you like select. Let me know if you, if you have any interest or no interest in these Panini products, which are non-licensed. I think that I think you have some real, you know, opportunities. You know, people rip flawless and spend all that money in immaculate, which is which has come down in price and rightfully so. But these these lesser products, which aren't really lesser products, they're just cheaper products. Um, I really think are the way to go. But that's that's my own personal thoughts about it. Anyway, I hope all is well. That's it for 2023 Select Baseball. I I recommend going out and getting a box or two. And uh, till next time.